What are you making? A newspaper. A newspaper? This is going to be great. How's it going to be great? What's it about? The animals in the world. <laughs> We're definitely all about staying in the national parks. I mean, the sites are pretty close together. This is the money shot when you open your door. Oh, man. You can hear it at night while you sleep. It's like being at the ocean. Can you hear the water, Hensley? Yeah, I'm gonna go see it. You wanna go see the water? Now we barely made it in here before dark last night, but look, this looks beautiful already. I mean, sort of reminds me of um, maybe Seattle with smaller trees. <laughs> it is a beautiful day. This is awesome. Can I see the river underwater? Uh, we'll go see it. I hope they're not going underwater. It's probably still kind of cold. So I haven't seen any massive rigs here. This is a pretty tight area. So you get over 35 feet. I mean, I don't know for sure, but that's just kind of what I'm seeing. But sights are nice. Look at this. Let's go down here. Might be. Ooh, it's clear too. Look how clear it is. So no hookups here, very rustic sites, but I think for the vibe and the feel and for what you're getting, I think it's awesome. I mean, 25 bucks a night, but pretty cool. You get like a, a whole tent area, so you could have more people out here if you want to with that. Picnic table, fire pit. Of course, the sound of the water's gotta be my favorite part of all this. Oh, this is looking like a beautiful day. Yeah. You like that book, buddy? Did you know we read that to you when you were little Hensley? Yeah. Judy can pat the bunny. Now you can pat the bunny. You want to pat the bunny? Pat the bunny. Good job. Pat the bunny. Now you pat the bunny. You want to pat the bunny, buddy? Pat it with his elbow. How about that? We'll just pat it with his elbow. Good job. Do you sleep okay? <laughs> Ironically, you're not the loudest baby in this RV. Beautiful drive, man, it's beautiful. You ready to get out, kid? But three things, Hensley. You wanna fuel up, because there's nowhere to get fuel up here. You want to hurry up, because you get here too late, and a lot of these places are not gonna have parking, which is an advantage of staying in the campground. So you wanna hurry up. And then the last one is you wanna bundle up. So we're dressed in layers. It is, a, does it feel colder? Can you feel that cold air, Hensley? You're ready to go hike, aren't you? <laughs> is that what, when you point, that's what that means? I'm gonna guess it's about, oh, goodness, Hensley. <laughs> Are you gonna hike on your own? Yeah. Huh? Yeah? Yeah. I'm gonna guess it's about 10 degrees cooler up here. I see a bear down there. All right, you tell me if you see a bear. These are called the Smoky Mountains. You have any idea why they call them the Smoky Mountains? They smoke. That does look like smoke, doesn't it? Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. All right, come on. First family hike? Is this our first family hike? I hear something. A four. <laughs> I said I hear something. Felt like a hike coming from the parking I lot, though. <laughs> yeah, we went up. I bet we went up three or 4,000 feet at least getting here. And it is. 
gonna just keep on going. I say straight up, they're not kidding. You're doing good, babe. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. So this is half a mile up, obviously half a mile back. <laughs> Hensel's even got the energy to climb rocks, don't you? You're just showing off now, kids. Showing oh. off. How you gonna get down? <laughs> Slide. Oh yeah, is that the plan? There you go. We'll climb some more rocks. All right, let's find some more. We'll find some more up here. Come on. <laughs> I always think it's cool when you're like, you can see borders. Ah, uh, is this a border out here so somewhere? like North Carolina, Tennessee. Yeah. We uh, may not have timed this perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> Climb all this to get in a cloud. Or... <laughs> Clingman's Dome is the highest point on the Appalachian Trail. Oh, that's a cool fact. Mm -hmm. And the highest point in the Smoky Mountains. That's pretty cool. Yeah. 6,643 feet. This is just cool right here. I can see a little bit down there. I guess that's why it's called the Smoky Mountains, huh? Yeah, that might be tip number four, like keeping out of the weather. <laughs> what's up? You want up higher? Hey, Daddy. Yeah, what's up? Uh, I, when I fall, will you catch me? Yeah, I'll do my best. What do you think about it up here? Isn't it smoky up here? Isn't this crazy? Oh, it's just coming in now. <laughs> I can't see. I can't see like five feet in front of our faces. <laughs> You can look at this. Yeah, we, that's what it would we look like. We hiked all the way up here to see yeah. this cool picture yeah. of what it would look like. How long has it been since she was in this? Well, you did, we did a hike here with her in that. Say hi. Say hi. Oh. Yeah, I carried Hensley in this carrier in this national park when she was not much older than him. No, yeah, you were probably maybe two or three months. You were pretty little. How's your first camping trip? He likes to dress for the occasion like his mom. Show him your shirt. It's got little little airstreams, oh, tents on it. Oh, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> you did good today. You just pretty much slept the whole time. <laughs> it's actually way easier than Hensley. <laughs> <laughs> Remember Hensley was lightweight. We could just do 10 miles, throw on her back and go. She'd just sleep. Oh yeah, back great. in the day. things that just never gets old to me about our being is just that you've got this on the outside but then we wake up in the morning I mean for the most part we still got the battleborn lithium batteries we got the Truma endless hot water heater going on I mean for the most part life just goes on like usual <laughs> I mean we're eating pancakes we're hanging out making my coffee like usual pretty much like any other day except when we walk out of our home we walk out here just never gets old. Love it. Are you ready to go to Cade's Cove, buddy? You ready? Count by tens. Are you ready for Cade's 20, Cove, Hensley? 30, 40, 50, 60, um, 70. it's just a really beautiful place we're gonna drive around and check out.
You wanna see if we can find a bear? I think there's one out there. Uh, yeah, I think we got a bear. Everybody's looking at something. Is like, can you find it? Straight down there towards that tree. Ah, see his head. Yeah. yeah. Right, right down there. there. There he is. Total chaos when you see a bear. There it is. There it is. Right there. Look, will you lift me up? You get your picture, Poison Ivy. Good job, Inslee. JJ even wore his bear outfit, hoping oh, to see a bear. Look at you. <laughs> so these bears are very good at hiding. Like there's actually a mom and two cubs, and like 75% of the people out here are like, what are you looking at? I think I saw the head of the mom, and then maybe the body of one of the little cubs. There's actually a second cub down there somewhere, but way more incognito than us. <laughs> you ready to keep going, Hensley? Maybe we'll see more. Go and get your seat, let's keep moving. There's a baby in a tree up there. I read it, it took two to three hours to do this loop and I thought, well, that may be from the entrance because you look at the map and you're like, well, you could probably do that. But like two to three hours is just the loop because even though the speed limit's like 30, people are going to 10 miles an hour, you're like back to back and then people are stopping to see bears and wildlife and so stop in traffic too, like every few miles. So yeah, two to three hours just for the tiny loop at the end if you look at the giant map. Um, I mean, if you're coming from the entrance, it'd be like a, it'd be like an all day deal if you're not inside the national park like us. So there's a lot of historical buildings here as in like pre-1900 type stuff, um, 1800s churches and look at this barn over here. That's cool. Look at this, Hensley. Does it hurt? Uh, I bet it used to. No, it's operating. It should uh, be repaired any day now. Oh, it does say. operate still? Mm -hmm. So this is a John Cable Grist Mill built around 1868, pretty much all original. And she said that even um, it's usually operational. It's not operational today. It should be fixed any day now, but they're usually grinding cornmeal and stuff like that that they sell that you can buy inside there. Let's see Becky Cable House, 1879. It's cool. You can like... <laughs> you can feel the floor moving as you walk around. <laughs> What's this, Hensley? Do you know what this is? What is it? It's a wood carrier. A wood carrier? Yeah, Daddy. <laughs> Otherwise known as a... Could it, can it only carry wood? Could it carry other things? Yeah. <laughs> it's an old wagon. Isn't that cool? Could you imagine 150 years ago living out here it's cool to think about grinding your own wheat and cornmeal and i was just thinking about telling them like we were born in the 1900s doesn't that sound crazy <laughs> but look i mean man would this not be awesome a little creek back here mm -hmm. just the whole community i don't know it's just crazy it's just crazy to think about and this national park it's really cool i mean you get to see a lot of nature a lot of animals but then you get to sort of get to step back in time too with things like this and you get to have your family step back in time is this cool hensley okay let's see if i can go all the way across there you want to walk on it <laughs> what do you think buddy history fascinates him <laughs> i can see it in his eyes <laughs>
Maybe being out here doesn't look as, uh, <laughs> <laughs> as fun anymore. You gotta watch out for the wild hogs, but you're good to go because you got this trap. This is what we saw earlier. Did you see it in the tree? Uh, Evie's really hot. Did you see the little bear in the tree? That's how little it was. Look how fast they breed. It's like rabbits <laughs> compared to bears and deer. That's crazy. Look how much they breed. Yeah, that's how much they breed. I'm done. Race ya. Race me. You're not gonna beat me. Can you believe you the lead? Oh. Uh-oh. Daddy's in the lead. <laughs> Good job. We made it. We made it through our first trips with our kids. It's weird to say kids. I got a lot of spit up on me. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's just how I'm it's pretty good. I'm just tired. Yeah. Tired, covered in spit up. <laughs> well, most people that see us are like, what are you doing here with a six week old? And, uh, but honestly, I mean, we're gonna be in our RV anyways. We're gonna be sitting somewhere anyways. Why not be somewhere really awesome like this and be able to go out? And, and it's cool because since we're here in Elkmont, like it's so much closer to get to everything. We would have spent hours and hours if we drove in from Pigeon. I don't think we would have had it in us, honestly, like no. all the driving. Because once you get in the National Park, it's so big, there's still a lot more driving. Uh, we always talk about that. Stay in the National Park if you can stay in the National Park. And this has been awesome. Well, we want to we wanna pass that on to our kids, mm -hmm. like the love of adventure and of our national and state parks. Mm -hmm. I love that they preserve the history we got to check out today. Yeah. It's just that easy teaching opportunity you know for Hensley and uh, for mm. JJ in the future when he wakes up but <laughs> yeah he kind of slept through this whole trip so far uh, hey I'm not complaining I love my <laughs> no, baby no. I love my baby snuggles <laughs> I know it's gonna be chaos when they're both running in different directions yep. one day so um, and definitely if you also want some bonus footage of uh, sometimes Marissa's just whipping out her phone or sometimes there's stuff that doesn't make it to YouTube that we put on our patreon channel but just less junk more journey.com slash patreon if you want to check that out uh, we've had an awesome time here I love it's not quite the beach I guess with the water <laughs> but it's pretty awesome if you like going to sleep because you could definitely open your windows and hear this water here um, this is a great campground Highly recommend it. Mm -hmm. It's been a really cool yes. experience. What we're going to unplug uh, for the night, call it a day. Hensley's still hanging out with the friends next to us. She has, she makes friends everywhere she goes. So, <laughs> a kid. Well, we're going to call it a night, get some rest, and we will catch you guys later. Guys, stay on the water.